Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. It's supposed to be raining all day today, but it hasn't started yet. So we are gonna try and take this opportunity and get off the farm and do something fun. But before we go, I wanted to show you guys. I've been processing my tomato and my zucchini and my cantaloupe and my cucumbers. I have a bunch of it sitting in the windowsill there waiting to get finished getting ripe and then I have some in the fridge, but I processed all my onions, my green onions yesterday and today. So that's all done. One of the big parts of having a garden is the harvesting. And it's not like you just pick everything. If you want to save it so that you can use it throughout the winter, then you have to you have to do a few extra steps to prepare it and put it away in the freezer or put it in your fridge or whatever you want to do. So I did all that with my onions this morning because I want to have onions all winter long. It is glorious out here. I know it's going to rain. I knew there would be an umbrella in the car, so I'm going to bring it. It's a huge one, which is kind of annoying, but better than no umbrella. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out about getting rained on. As we're driving out, I saw honey at the brown bale and I saw all the goats up there laying in the shade. I just love being on the farm and being able to walk outside and see our animals whenever we want. When we leave, it's kind of sad, but it makes coming home so much better. All right, so we are here. Hey, how did you guys end up dressing the, even almost the same shoes? We don't play in this. I know, this is something that's happened in our family all the time. We always dress the same. I'm dressed in navy though. All right, so we are at the fair. At least they play some good music. The girls are excited. They're gonna go on all the rides and Sam and I are gonna head to the agriculture booth because that's what we like. No, nope, have fun. We're gonna go watch the goat show. Enjoy. We are at the goat show. That was the Alpine show. It was so fun. Like, I'm excited. So, we want to enter our one of our goats into like the three to nine month division. So, we're going to do that soon before this end of this year. We just got to find out where we're going to show her, but I'm excited. <laughs> ordering food if you guys want to eat. Do you guys want to eat now? Yeah. Did you do any rides? Yeah. yeah. Was it fun? There's, there's hot, yeah, there's hardly any lineup. And Sophie doesn't like rides and Gabby does the rides. Okay, they're fun. Just they are fun? Thing. Okay, look, the dad's right there. I don't like the Ferris wheel. That's like the scary. I, I That's love, we're not going on. I love the Ferris wheel. Alright, go up to dad and he'll order you dinner. I don't want food. Oh. Yeah, we, we don't want food right now. All right. The goat show is so, the goat show is so fun. <laughs> Ready and hop. Thank you, that's all I do. All right, fine, you want to see tricks. If you want to see it go higher, everybody scream higher. All right, I went to Tim Hortons, I got a double-double. Higher. Higher. I got a triple triple. Higher! Higher! That's a four by! A four by! Alright, so we are gonna check out the gold cows. So cute. Look at how cute you are. one pushed him out of the way and said, I want her. <laughs> oh, look at how big his eyes are. are. So cute. Oh, look at those teeth. You guys want to go home? Well, you guys are getting old. We're gonna come back later. Sophie got sick from the rides. All right, well, let's just finish this and then we'll go. 
So we watched the whole entire goat show. It was so interesting. And did you guys know? So at this goat show, they didn't even have a, a class for Nigerian dwarf. They didn't even have a class for it. It was just what? Yeah. all breeds. It was like an all breed division. And all of the breeds in that division just happened to be Nigerian. So I think they need a Nigerian dwarf division. And uh, looking at those goats, and then looking at our goats, who do you think is our best looking goat? Lola. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Lola. I bet you Lola was registered. I bet you she is registered. I should check her ears. Yeah. How do you get that? We checked. I'm checking again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got Lola at the sales barn, but her horns have been burned off. So I feel like they were planning to keep her. I don't know. Our Lola is a nice looking. She's long through the back and she just yeah, is a nice size. For long. So then all the Nigerian dwarf goats that were there were all like moms. They all had udders and they all were tiny like Lola. So here I'm like, oh, I shouldn't breed Lola. I shouldn't breed Lola because she's so much tinier than our other goats. They, everyone that was in that breed was tiny like Lola. So. Anyway, it was a learning process. It was a learning curve. I loved watching it. And I feel like, I feel like Show. Nigerian dwarf goats are not the favorite breed. I feel like people don't like those as much as like the bigger, more, more popular, like the more common breeds. I feel like Nigerian dwarf are, are still new enough that they're not as accepted as the others. You know how you go to like a dog park and you see somebody with like a German Shepherd or like some big, breed and then you have like this little tiny chihuahua and like a lot of people don't even think chihuahuas are like a real breed like people have like a different attitude towards little tiny dogs you guys know it's it's a real thing i feel like that's almost the same with the nigerian dwarf goat i love them i think they're the coolest breed and and i like chihuahuas <laughs> i like all the toy breeds too Come to me. Okay. <laughs> Ellie, chill. Oh, come to me. Except that one. That all fell. What about you? You're a chicken. I love you too. <laughs> Everybody runs to me. Even you. Apparently I'm the mom dog, the dog mom. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, the dogs went inside, and then all of a sudden the ducks came. I swear they know I love them. Look at how gorgeous that little girl is. Do you see the boys all have a drake feather? And then the little girl, can you see that green on her? Or maybe it's like a light turquoise blue. It's so beautiful. That's the little girl though. I don't know why they come up to me. It's like they're my spirit animal. They're so cute. You see the drake feathers? The drake feather is a little feather that curls up on the tip. This guy's got two. I love them. And the boys have really big boxy heads and the girl has just got a tiny little head. Every night I spend a lot of time just sitting out here watching and spending time with the animals. I think that's why they're so used to me and they come up to me, but I love that little girl. Okay, so it's finally starting to rain. It's getting dark out there and dreary out there. And we went and did some shopping after we went to the fair. Girls are probably gonna go back to the fair. Are you gonna go back? Yeah. 
and ride the rides tonight when it's dark. It's always more fun in the dark. But I wanted to show you guys something that Sam does. And usually I resist it, but I was not able to resist it this time. So whenever Sam finds a sale, maybe you guys are like this, whenever he finds a sale, he's like, oh, look at this sale. And I'm all one for a sale, but like if they're selling black socks and it's such a good sale and I don't ever wear black socks, how good of a sale can it be? <laughs> I just think you have to be really careful about what sales you want to go to. Like Sam has this mindset where he is just overwhelmed when he sees a sale like he loves the sale and he'll buy stuff like sometimes i've told this story before like if i send if i send him to the store and i want cucumbers i like field cucumbers i don't eat english cucumbers they're long and skinny and more bitter i hate them i will not eat them ever sometimes he'll go and he'll come back and he'll be like yeah but the field cucumbers were like two dollars each and these were 27 for two dollars it's such a good deal but how good of a deal is it if nobody's gonna eat it that means you let you use you wasted two dollars and then we have to throw out all the food because we're not gonna eat that but anyway so this was the sam thing that we got today and i admit i got caught up in it too because i thought it looked like fun so these things were, it's like cupcake decorating things. And they were six of them. No, they were eight things for $6 or something. I don't know, even if it was that kind of a sale. So it's all this icing. And he thought it was a really good idea. He thought it was a really good deal. And then I thought it was a really good idea. And then I thought it was a really good deal. So we bought a bunch of it, you guys, <laughs> we bought so much. So yeah, that's what happened. But to be honest, the only reason that I went with it was because it's somebody in my family's birthday this week, well yesterday actually, and we're having a little celebration. They're coming to spend it with us on this week coming up. So. I want to make cupcakes and then maybe decorate them or something and so it worked out for me but yeah this is what happens it's a it's a it's a trap you guys when something is like such a good sale there's usually a reason why i love these this is like um white icing and then in the lid it has all these little tools to decorate i thought that was really cool that's why we got a lot of those all right i tried it you guys sophie and i couldn't wait we had these little muffins, <laughs> not cupcakes, but isn't it so cute? Like it actually works so good. Don't look at mine. Don't look at mine. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way